up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at the Armand fusion so this fusion was a combined fusion of um fragments for epic champions and then we could fuse uh Armand's. obviously he was a god tier champion a no brainer um but obviously we can't go for every fusion we burn a lot of resources trying to do it so what i wanted to do today is i have been calculating how much silver that i used for this resource uh, for this fusion also going to look at tricks and tips where i could double up on events try and be as efficient as possible and then also i've got a complete breakdown at the end of how many shards it's going to cost you and which route is probably the best to take so if we just open up the old nifty spreadsheet. So I can't believe I'm going to say this. Polarium was so generous when it came to energy. I was going to get uh, energy from dailies, Doom Tower, Curse City, tournaments, events. And we had CBC and the clan shop both had a ton of energy as well uh, to help us do this fusion. So, so we'll look at the first three days and day one, we just chilled and done dragon. Uh, day two, we did dragon again. And we just, you know, I'm not using any gems at this point. Uh, then we um, just cleared the artifact enhancement, 16 mil. Uh, sounds like quite a lot, but actually I'm, I'm up. So at the end of this fusion, I made silver. So actually it didn't cost too much. So it wasn't too bad. Um, just to mention as well, I only counted silver for artifact taunts. I didn't include it for champion training or anything like that because it's so minute. They just didn't seem important. So yeah, so we did dragon artifact, uh, artifact enhancement. And then day three, we burned 440 gems. Uh, we went in hard on champion training. I pretty much would have done like three quarters of it. And we did dungeon divers at the same time. Uh, we burn 300 mystery shards as well. Um, so that's obviously, that wasn't a lot. And that didn't help us in um, the summon rush. However, it did get us um, just some more energy. So that was nice. Uh, day four. So 320 gems and we finished off uh, champion training. Again, we're going in hard. And we finished off Dungeon Divers as well. Um, and we did use 70 Magic Brews as well in Champion Training. So not a huge amount. Uh, yeah, Day 5, Ice Golem started. So we just chilled on that. And we chilled again on Day 6. So Day 6 was a Tuesday. And that is when 1k energy came in the clan shop. And we held on to this. We did not just spend it straight away. We hold on to this and save it for when we need it so day seven was a chill day and you know you could have done spider you could have done any dungeon you wanted to um, just to start off dungeon divers there were some really nice rewards in sand devil so i decided to use that 1k from the shop into that tournament and i pretty much cleared it so i didn't need to use any gems for it and i did sort of start a little bit um on day 12 as well so yeah cleared sand devil easily i mean that is very very end game so if you can't do it i'd have just done spider you know that would give you loads and loads of like silver and accessories as well so it's always good because yeah, so that sort of dungeon divers is a free game you can get what other uh, go for whatever one you want to day eight champion training starts again still doing dungeon divers and we went in way too hard um i definitely made a mistake here so i did 850 gems and we just went so hard that the next day i sort of overspilt a little bit so that wasn't good and we'll sort of see that in the spreadsheet so yeah we went in way too hard the champion training did a huge chunk of dungeon divers cleared um artifacts enhancements cvc so in cvc i did not use any of the free energy that you can get for cvc i saved it and um and i used it later on 
So yeah, day nine, we chilled and wasted energy as Dungeon Divers was already done. And we just finished off Fire Night, but it was a waste of energy. So again, I just went in way, way too hard. Uh, day 10, we chilled just doing Fire Night, um, finishing that off. And we cleared off Artifact Enhancement again. 21 mil there, 20 mil there. So day 11, we've got 4k left in Champion Train to finish off. And the, a new Dungeon Diver starts. This is Dungeon Divers 3. And so we started going again. Oh, there's a, there's a typo. And we started going hard. Well, not hard, but we just had 4k to finish off. So we put basically we finished that off. And then the next day, we just did Spider and Dungeon Divers. So... Yeah, and you can see, so 160 gems, 240 gems, so not too much here. And one thing, so what happened here is I didn't pull shards in Summon Rush or Summon Rush or champion chase so champion chase on rush we skipped those for the hero's path um so yeah day day 12 we went in hard um 23 sacreds and 42 ancients but we also got that guaranteed legendary so you wouldn't have to do that i will do a breakdown of the shards separately at the very end just because you know, there's so many different variations of how you could use shards. So we'll sort of say that to the end. But again, just the spiders, the dungeon divers. And yeah, we finished that off. Uh, day 19 just did some more spider. We had um, 1k left to do of dungeon divers. And that was an easy finish. So day 14, we... Um, that's today. So... Obviously, the finish, the fusion is finished. We've got all the fragments, but it was definitely worth holding on and not just maxing things out straight away um, because we still had the epic fusion. So I had three of the epic champions at level, with there being five starred, one at four star. So I got a whole bunch of points just maxing up with brews so we use 232 brews to get one four star to five star and then four champions to five star and then we ascended all of them as well which gave us 164 points so a total of 1557 points which is really nice so it was definitely worth holding on to i know sometimes people panic and just rush and just try and get it done but we've got loads of time we've got till friday the 22nd until we can fuse uh, Arzmans. So, you know, just hold off. No need to rush. So, yeah, so we... And obviously, this champion training is not going to get us any fragments, fragments. But, of course, there's always a legendary book involved, and we want it. So, it just made it a little bit nicer. And, to be fair, this is included in the fusion because you do need to use... Um, we did have to use brews. So, total costs... 2010 gems that's not too bad over two weeks so a thousand gems per week and just try to chill save like now there's not much going on in the game right now apart from that champion training and we've got four days to do the champion training tournament so i am going to take it so chilled i'm just going to do like 2.5k a day should be an easy run if any dungeon uh, dungeon tournaments turn up I'm going to skip them for now. I want to save gems and energy for CVC, the next uh, PV, uh, sorry, the personal reward CVC. I want to save for that. There's only 57 mil, which again, sounds like a lot, but when you're using so much energy, you are making money off silver. So it didn't really pick, put a big dent into the, to the account. So 70 magic brews, 232 voids, only 302 brews, so not bad at all. Chickens, we did not use one chicken during this uh, this fusion, which I was quite surprised by. I was expecting to use um, some chickens. Again, we didn't use any books either. Don't use books during champion training tournament. It's, it's just, you know, champion training and dungeon divers just marry up so nicely. You will get so many points for it. So that's definitely the best way 
to do it. And then shards, we did 300 mystery shards, 23 sacreds, and 52 ancients. Um, you could definitely get away with doing way less sacreds, and we're going to look at the most efficient route now. So, summon rush. Um, we needed 3,150 points to get the fragments. So, mystery shards, if you've got them, I would definitely go for it. It's definitely the best way to do it. Or, you know, you could just burn, say, like 2,000 mystery shards and then rack up the points somewhere else. Um, sacreds, um, you know, six sacreds is going to get us 3,000 points. And I feel like it's worth it. I don't have a problem burning six sacreds for 3,000 points. Uh, my experience from pulling in a 10x is you're probably going to get nothing. Even with 20 sacreds, you will probably get nothing. If it's a 2x, you probably will get two legendaries, um, which I feel is more worth, even if it's targeted, even if it's a 25x, the chances of getting that legendary you want are so low. Um, I also think primals are quite a good way to go as well. Even if there's like a two times event going on, it's still 1% chance. And I'm pretty sure Mercy is something like 200. So, you know, I think primal shards are a good way to go. Um, I probably wouldn't use 15. I'd probably maybe use, say, three sacreds and 10 primal shards, something like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly about the maths, but, you know, that's how I would break it up to try and save us some moolah, save some shards. Void shards are pretty good as well. They give you a good chunk of points. 150 ancients uh, seems pretty crazy to me. 150 ancients. So in a 2x, you would probably pull a legendary for that. So I would actually save that. Um, I, yeah, I think sacred is definitely the best option for that. Then uh, shards for the champion chase. So we need 3,000 points. It was 2x for void shards. And we were also a bit sneaky as well. So we fused three void epics during this time, which gave us um, 1,050 points, um, leaving us with 950 points left to get. Um, so an epic gives you 350, a rare gives 50 points, and a legendary only 650 is not a lot you know it is hard to pull a void legendary i've hit mercy i've hit 200 mercy on void shards so many times so many times and it is unbelievably painful so yeah i would not expect to hit gold during that so you know i did like sort of like a rough number and if we pulled 18 rares that would be, you know, 50 points each. That's 900. If we were lucky enough to pull three rares, uh, sorry, three epics, that would be enough for 400, uh, sorry, 100. Where are these numbers coming from, real deal? Get it together. Uh, 1,050. So it's 25, 21 voids in total. So it's way, way more efficient just to pull six sacreds and 21 voids to do this. So I do feel like that was definitely a better way to go. And the hero's path, I was not too happy about. Um, I did go for the legendary champion. I did get him. And I'm sure he's going to be a real game changer. But he is way, like, really, really expensive. Um, but if we were just going to go for the fragments and not the legendary champion, it would be way, way cheaper. So you need 15,000 mystery shards. That's probably like going to take you two years to save up. No one's going to have that. 150 ancients though. So that's kind of interesting. That is more efficient um, to pull 150 ancients during Hero's Path than it is to pull 150 ancients in Summon Rush and then 21 Void. So actually, that's quite interesting. That's a good way to save, save some ancients. Well, not ancients, but save some Void Shards. So that's pretty cool. But then... Um, again, it is 150 ancients. That's a lot. 60 voids. That is insane. Um, that's a huge amount of voids. So free to play, end game, doing everything. You get about 40 voids every six weeks. So that's about um, nine weeks of saving. So that's like three months. Three months of saving to get 60 voids. That's a huge, huge amount. Uh, primal shards 25 um for me i'm getting about 
25 primals will probably take me about two months to save up. So again, that is quite a huge chunk of time. 10 sacreds, I definitely feel like is the best option. So the cheapest way we could do this if we just did Heroes Pass was actually 10 sacreds or 150 ancients. So that is definitely cheaper than doing, you know, 60 sacreds and 21 voids or uh, 150 ancients and 21 voids. So um, Hero Paths is good for that. And there was some really good rewards in there as well. So, yeah, but again, I, I don't know how I feel. Like I did go for the legendary champion and I'm still a bit up in an RM. So if he's, if he's going to be good to the account, I guess only time will tell. So I hope this helps you guys in the future. Like, so now we know that in the future we need like a good chunk of gems. We need this amount of silver. Uh, and, you know, these are like a complete breakdown of the shards that we need. This is obviously for like a compu uh, combined old school fragment, uh, sorry, old school fusion with fragment fusion. But, you know, I'm, I want to sort of record this data more often so we can sort of compare the three. And also over time, I think Polarium they may increase the numbers because that's what's happened in the past. It was definitely way, way easier back in the day to do fusions and that's way, way harder. But yeah, I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope it's useful. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I've been the real deal. You've been you. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.